Welcome to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. We're gonna head out for a walk on the beautiful beach this morning. Looks like another beautiful day here. Now we're gonna give you an update on the seaweed situation. And we're also gonna give you an update on those Portuguese man of war jellyfish. There's been a number of nasty stings and bites on the beach here, which is prohibiting access for bathers to the beach. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Playa del Carmen. Just for context, we have a map here. I have circled Playa del Carmen. Now I just want to circle this section right here. This is Park Las Fundadores. Now, why would you be familiar with this? Now, if you're grabbing a ferry over to Cozumel, this is where you would get the ferry. Also, if there's any major kind of um, activities going on or shows, they're usually right in this area right here. And there's that big famous statue associated with Playa del Carmen. It's also in the Park Las Fundadores. Now I'm gonna circle this section right here. Now this is where I'm gonna be doing my walk on the beach today. This is right in front of the famous Hilton Hotel. Lastly, I'm gonna focus on this section right here that I've circled. This is Playa Punta Esmeralda. Why is it relevant today? It's relevant today because all these Portuguese man of war jellyfish, nasty stings have been happening up in this area. And I wanna read a bunch of information just in case you're coming down here, you know where to hang out and where not to hang out. And right now, this is where you don't wanna be hanging out at the Playa Punta Esmeralda. Okay, let's get this walk started. This location here is at the end of Avenue Constituente. Last year, this is where we were living. That's why I did eight to 10 videos last year. I put one out every Saturday and I basically come down and just do a seaweed update. Now, uh, seaweed is also called sargasm. And so if I refer to sargasm, I really mean seaweed and vice versa. So anyways, this is my first video of this year, and uh, we're gonna head out to the beach. Another beautiful day in Playa del Carmen. Sunrise was around 7.15. You can see the sun, um, I think it's probably about an hour, so might, this might be 8.15 in the morning. Beautiful day, 80 degrees, a little bit of a breeze. You can see it in the palm trees. Not very big waves, but just another beautiful day. And we're coming down to the beach here, and we're gonna look right here and uh, just to give you a little update there's ice coming out here because there's yoga on the beach and what they're doing is they fill these ice baths and they do their yoga and then they make these ice baths and you can kind of see them making them there they're blowing them up and that guy's bringing some ice over and uh, they're going to put a whole bunch of ice in there so after they do their yoga they get in there for a while just to kind of minimize the inflammation um, that you, you know your joints might have so it's always fun to come down here in the morning and watch them do their yoga. And uh, they got all these yogi people or yoga people bringing the ice down and filling up these little containers. So they'll fill it up with water and ice and they'll do the little ice bath after their yoga session. So we're gonna swing around here. And uh, this is a ferry dock. It's usually only used on Wednesdays that I've seen. And we're gonna come over to the beach here. And this is the main beach where you've got the Hilton and the Grand Hyatt. And last year when I was here, it was pathetic. It was seaweed, uh, huge seaweed. Look at it now. It is a beautiful beach. That is a beautiful colored sand. And uh, we're just gonna look around. So there are some people working on the beach. There are a couple wheelbarrows. Now I flew in late last night and there was a big truck here with uh, a bunch of seaweed in it. It doesn't look like there's much seaweed. There's one in one wheelbarrow right there. So I'm just gonna kinda go to the end here, hang a right, and we're gonna walk down the beach and kinda have a look, see if there's much seaweed in the water. There's all the uh, shovels and all that sort of stuff, so they've obviously got some people working on it. Uh, so I see one guy there. I see two wheelbarrows, and uh, looks awesome. Uh, it was just like last January when we came down. Now, what they told us last year was that sargasm was going to start in April, early April. Look at that. So that is sargasm right there. That is seaweed right there. So they've obviously been cleaning up for the last hour or so. I'm not sure what he's doing, if he's just spreading some sand around or what's going on, but I don't see any seaweed there. Um, 
So right to the left here is the Hilton famous hotel and next to it up ahead there you can kind of see the Grand Hyatt. Now we did these videos last year because we wanted to give the heads up to the people staying at the Hilton and the Grand Hyatt. Uh, you couldn't even get in the water. It was ridiculous. But uh, now this looks, this looks like it's supposed to look. It's a beautiful beach in Playa del Carmen. So I'm just going to swing around here. There's the loungers. And uh, that's a nice hotel. And uh, we're just going to continue down here. But you can see there's obviously some tracks on the beach there. So the tractor or something has been on the beach there coming down. So I'm wondering, is there a whole bunch of sargasm up ahead here? And it kind of brought it back. Because those are big tractor tire marks right there. So we're just going to head down the beach here just to see if there's a whole bunch down here. And they clean it up or, or what's going on. But at this point, it looks awesome. Nice little waves of the, the water actually looks really clean and love the color of it. And I'm kind of coming a little bit closer here. I couldn't do the voiceover when I was doing this because the wind was kind of uh, getting in the way, but that looks like a beautiful beach right there. I don't see any seaweed. We're looking back at the ferry dock there. People are walking along. And last year you couldn't even walk along here because there was so much seaweed, it was unbelievable. People, you couldn't get in the water. And uh, so we're just going to walk along here, just look at it. Well, it looks like a little bit of something there, but, you know, is that even seaweed? Uh, maybe it is. Maybe it's just some stuff that's just been uh, come up on the water. Um, there's been a few storms lately, and that's which opens another door to these Portuguese man of war jellyfish. And they're a little bit farther north. I, I just had the map out and I showed you that's farther north. Um, now I think Constituente is maybe 12th or 15th or something like that. But this um, Esmeralda beach is way north. So we're looking north and I think it's around 86. So it might be a kilometer or so up there. So there is the famous Hilton. Beautiful. It's got a beautiful pool in there. And uh, people are waking up, they're getting their chairs, and they're getting out here. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Look at the sky, not a lot of clouds. And like I said, it is 80 degrees. This is December. Last year we came down from January 1st to end of March. And I think we did 8 or 10 videos. Every Saturday morning we pop one out. Now what happened last year, the sargasm they told us was going to start April 1st. It started roughly February 15th. So that's why I started doing these sargasm uh, videos so everybody could kind of see what's going on. And we were supposed to stay into March, almost to about March break, middle of March. And uh, my conclusion last year was, no, we're not coming down and staying until April because if February 15th to April 1st is brutal with the seaweed, we're not coming down. We're going to come down earlier. Hence, we're down here earlier. We're in December now and we're only going to stay down to about the middle of February, maybe whatever, the 1st of March, but we're not staying into March. So hopefully it holds off. So this is why we came down earlier. We came down earlier because we wanted to make sure there was no seaweed. There's no seaweed. So we're going to be on the beach here. We're going to be in the water, and it looks great. Now, Playa is just waking up here. It is still early. Like I said, I think it's about 8.15 in the morning. And, you know, I love the beach early in the morning and probably around sundown between maybe 5 and 7. Those are my two favorite times to be on the beach. So I am down here every morning kind of just scouting things out. And I will be doing a number of videos. I'll pop one out every Saturday. Now this next hotel we're coming to here is the Grand, Grand Hyatt. Also a nice kind of uh, pool in there, but we're just going to walk up here. Now, I don't know why those big tire tracks were in the sand. Now, I'm looking down here. That's seaweed. That's sargasm. Now, you have to clean this stuff up in the first 24, 48 hours or else it becomes toxic. So, I'm wondering, did I miss something yesterday? Because I, when I flew in and I came down here late last night, I saw a big uh, truck and it was filled with, with sargasm. Now I'm wondering, are they cleaning this up every second day? 
because after 48 hours it becomes toxic. You ingest that, you swallow that, whatever, and the smell. It smells like rotten eggs and uh, it's toxic, it's bad for you. So you don't want to be, you don't want to really rubbing up against you in the water. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull out a little bit of information because there's been a number of newspaper articles that have come out that are cautioning people about these Portuguese man of war jellyfish. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little left here and look at the Grand Hyatt. A nice hotel. If you'd walk up those stairs there, you'd be right at the pool. It's a nice pool. So if you are checking in at the Hilton or the Grand Hyatt, there it is. You're going to wake up to this every morning. What can you say? Uh, it is, the beach is beautiful right now. So I'm just going to pull up an article. I'm just going to read a little bit about these jellyfish before I uh, kind of call it a day here. I just pulled up the article here. Now this is brand new information about these Portuguese man of war jellyfish in Playa del Carmen. So this is hot off the press. I'm going to read it to you. Fauna are the animals of a particular region, habitat, or geological period, and in this case are in reference to jellyfish activity within Playa del Carmen. And these aren't just jellyfish, these are Portuguese man-of-war jellyfish with a particularly nasty sting. Juan Carlos, a lifeguard of civil protection in the town, has already reported two to four cases of bites with Porto Esmeralda Beach already prohibiting access to bathers after the recent tropical storms. While no longer restricted to tourists, this beach specifically is one where they are advising extreme caution, recommending that you speak with lifeguards on duty about the appropriate information they need to know in regard to the harmful fauna. This will allow tourists to take the necessary precautions to prevent severe burns, scrapes and scratches from the species as well as knowing what to do if the situation occurs. In the most extreme of cases, venom from these creatures can cause death to those who are allergic. So be sure to take the warning seriously and know the correct information before entering the sea. I will be back next Saturday with an update on seaweed and this Portuguese man of war jellyfish situation. Thanks for coming along on this walk with me. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.